Hey guys, it's Dwayne here from Dewey HQ, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to create a custom background for your Xbox 360 dashboard. And you'll only need a thumbstick and your um, whatever a photo editing program you use, like Photoshop or GIMP or whatever. So we'll jump over to the computer and we'll check out how to do it. Let's go. Alright guys, we're on the uh, computer side of things now, and this is where I'm going to show you how to create your custom background. Now you can easily use any picture, but using it, having a custom background makes it a little easier to fit to the Xbox 360. Because generally, you have this white blade that goes along the bottom of the Xbox 360 uh, dashboard, which blocks half the picture. So I'm just like, this is a quick little sketch up here, but pretty much you won't see this bottom half of the picture. So I'm in Photoshop right now, and if you just like, you can go to um, Control R for rulers. You can bring down a rule and you can work out exactly where you're not going to be able to see it. So pretty much, it's probably about maybe a 40-60% or maybe a 55-45 um, um, ratio. But um, if you, as long as you concentrate what you want up towards the top of the picture, you'll be all good to go. So I'm going to quickly make something real quick in Photoshop. Uh, I'll see you then. Okay guys, I've quickly made something here, and as you can see, this is the blade where most of the cutoff will be. So, as you can see up here, I've actually made these tips of the corners dark. Now, this is pretty crucial because this is where your game is score and like your friends and line and stuff, and like if you had a white background like I did, it's going to make it very difficult to see what the hell is going on. So, as you can see here, this is my background, and once this is completed, you just want to save up. But before you do, I suggest you get rid of the blade by just clicking the eye down the bottom here. This is just in Photoshop, might be different in another program. But um, it just, it'll make more sense in once we get on the Xbox. So what you want to do is you want to save up, copy the uh, JPEG file to your thumb drive, and then plug your thumb drive into the Xbox once it's been copied, and I'll see you there. Okay guys, so pretty much you're on the Xbox now, and what you want to do is you want to head over to your apps section, and you want to go into my apps, and then you want to go into picture viewer. Now, if you, you know, you should be able to find portable device, which is your thumbstick, and then it'll have all your pictures here. And all you do is you just hit Y on the picture you want. So let's say, let's go to the one where we edited just then, and there we go. There's our new background, so we got 100% gaming up there, looks all nice and dandy, looks pretty cool, but you know, because I don't actually have bottoms to the characters, it does look a little weird, but um, in case in case um, you don't like that, I have another background that I can actually throw on. So yeah, it's pretty simple, it's pretty much just the process of just handing it over, so here's one I made a little while ago, and there we go. Picture of Sydney Harbour Bridge, there we go. So it's simple as that guys, that's all you have to do to actually get a custom background for your dashboard. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and hopefully it helped you. Uh, it's been a while since I've done something like this, but um, yeah, there you go guys. Have a great day. See you.